Welcome back to another video with a car that is unfortunately without its MTEC kit. If you guys watched last video, you saw that we got scammed out of an MTEC kit and I'm still super pissed and honestly this entire past week has been super lemon zesty, hella depressy, like espresso depresso coffee type beat. Um, but of course, the show must go on and we're back with another mod. If you'll look here in this general area, you'll see that we have some pretty clean headlights, but it's like an 04 car, so it was pre angel eyes and we are going to fix that. We're going to make this car look super modern and also throw in a little bit of spice. I'm super excited to get back into this car after being super depressed with it and honestly just wanting to sell it. But we're back with another video. Let's get into it. Let's see what we got for this car. And as you can see, your boy also got a fresh cut. Ooh. In the last video, my hair was hella long and it's been super hot this entire week. So my hair has been an absolute mess. It's like 35 degrees Celsius right now. So it's blazing, but it's just a little bit cooler with short hair, so. Priority mail from USPS. Let's cut it open, hopefully without cutting anything inside. Okay. So we got the Umnitsa Orion V5s, I believe, and they are the Angel Eyes. Okay, interesting. No descriptors on the packaging or anything, but let's get it open. Okay, so I mangled the packaging, it looks like, but that's okay. Damn, we got a lanyard. Oh, there's our wiring harness for the kit some loose wire tops. Why didn't they put these in a bag? Uh, and I believe this is one of the sets of angel eyes. Cool, cool. More loose wire tops. And the other set of angel eyes. So these angel eyes, I believe, oh, magic cotton light angel eyes. Not sure if you can see it, but it says magic cotton light. Angel eyes. Very nice. Okay, cool, interesting. Let's get these open and throw them on the car. All right, first things first to getting the headlight out, we're gonna remove this little weather stripping here. It wants to come out. Oh, okay. And this bottom one, mine actually has the headlight washer upgrade. So I think I'm about to make a mess. Okay, so there's a little tab there. Kind of the first side. And I think the rest is supposed to just come out. No idea how to disconnect the water. Honestly, I think that's good enough. I think we can start removing the headlight around it. Okay, so that should be removed far enough. We, I think we can start tackling the headlight itself. So there's some bolts on top here, one bolt back there, and one bolt down here. But they're super far in, so this thing isn't going to do it. We need an extendo. But nah, we're going to go hella extendo. Because it's like, it's real far in there. And then I think it's an 8 millimeters. Oh, I guess we need an extendo for the top one. But trust, the ones like deep down are like deep, deep down. So. See the first ones. Okay, now for this one. All the way in there. And the last one is all the way right there. But I guess it's all It's in there, trust. Gosh, damn it. Okay, so in order to remove this piece, you have to actually remove the washer nozzle. And when I did that, it squirted everywhere. So, unfortunately, I didn't get on camera, but you'll probably see when I do the other side. Also, rip all the fluid here. Yeah, I can pop this back in. Okay, so it actually just pops back in, so it's kind of draining all your fluid. Okay, so that's that. This will come out. 
Okay, so I got most of the clips out. Oh, and now there's just some like, some wires you gotta pop out. This one here. No idea what I'm doing. Oh, there's one up here. Yeah, these are all stuck on super tight. Damn, okay, that's actually nasty. Oh, okay, and so there you go. We got one dusty headlight, but it's out. I'll give it a quick wipe down first. It's like a one, two, three, four, five connections. So hopefully when I go back, I'll put it in five connections plus eight lights. All right, so that one's out. Let's go tackle the other side and see if we can do it a lot quicker this time. Like that we got out the next headlight. Unfortunately we knocked this off so I think that referee knows most of our washer fluid. Big sad but it's okay because we finally got this headlight out. Alright so we got the headlights inside. Unfortunately my car is one of the LCI cars. It's like facelifted cars so it's got the newer headlights and when they went to the newer headlights they decided to seal the headlights and so what that means is that there's a round of glue around the entire thing and so you have to pry apart the glue. Most people say to bake them, but I'm not really trying to bake them because I'm lazy. So I think we can use like a hair dryer or a heat gun and try to soften up the glue and pry them apart. Before we start to heat up the lens with the hair dryer, let's remove these plastic caps first that can come off. So like this one here, Oop, and the little seal. <laughs> and then there's one on the back here. Also, I think the turn signal comes out if you twist it, I believe. So there's your turn signal and that can come out as well. And also before we start prying things off, we have to do these two screws right here. It's on the top side by the turn signal. And I believe they're Torx 20. And with that, I believe we can start heating up the headlight and prying apart the lens. Well, that ended up being an entire waste of time. Ended up just baking the headlights at 300 degrees. The approximate temperature of my mixtape. For five minute intervals until the glue got soft. Oh my God. That's absolutely disgusting. There's so much glue everywhere. But if you're wondering why I'm wearing oven mitts, it's because I gave up and I just tossed these in the oven and it was so much easier. Okay, next step on the inside of the lens, there's actually this housing that's screwed in. So take the torque wrench, torque wrench and take it out. Okay, there we go. We got our two sets of angel eyes here. One's left, one's right. I'm not entirely sure if it matters which is left or which is right, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in and hopefully they'll be good enough. So I took this ring off and I'm pretty sure the angel eye, the first one, is supposed to go something like that, but it's too big. So I'm not sure how it really fits in. Also, this kit is so freaking expensive, but they didn't come with any instructions. Come on, man. Okay, a little bit of a rant here. This part was freaking stupid. It was so freaking hard to attach the actual angel eyes to anywhere on the headlights. 
I, I called them and like emailed the company Umnitsa multiple times to ask them how they expected me to do this. And they're like, oh, easy. Just glue it onto the headlights. I'm like, okay, first of all, you didn't include glue and you never told me I needed glue to do this. I thought it'd be like a clip system, which would be so much easier. And I'm pretty sure that's how every other Angel Eye system works. But no, Umnitsa asks you to glue it in. They make you buy your own glue. And on top of that, there's nowhere to freaking glue it onto. I thought there'd be like maybe a flat surface that would like not like have like a proper place to glue it but no it's like a fine edge and you just try to like stick it on try to make it work and it's so freaking hard even using super glue near impossible to get these things to stick absolute pain in the ass it was absolutely horrible install like ease of install for this product easily a zero out of ten maybe like a, even like a negative one out of ten pretty freaking bad Okay, so it's the next day. We've already taken the liberty of throwing the headlights in. Now we're gonna wire them up. So this is our harness here. I think it goes something like this. So on this side, you have the positive and negative. On this side, you have the trigger wire for the ECU. And then at the bottom here, these ones run to our headlights themselves. So I'm just gonna go like this. And then if you follow me, I think it goes like that. Something like that. And now let's start wiring. Okay, so you got a harness here. Step number one, take this red wire here and pop it onto the positive. Just pop it off. And then if you just... Oh my gosh. What did I do with the... Okay, socket. Red one, just attach it like that. So make a hole for it on the side. Leave or on top. Okay, just put it over top. It'll come out like that. Next one we have is this black one right here, and this black one goes into right here. It's just a little another terminal here, the negative terminal. Pop it onto the negative terminal right here. And that's the majority of the harness all connected. Next, we gotta get the individual headlight harness that attaches the big harness to the headlights themselves. All right, so we have our little, as you can see, our little wiring harness here that goes from the headlights on this side out to this side that meets up with the main harness and then we got our little boxes here. I think I'm just going to toss the boxes into this cavern right here and hopefully that goes well. All right, yeet. Shout out my boy Daniel, he got the ECU box all open. So now we're gonna tap into the ECU box and get to the ignition wire, which is gonna help power the angel eyes. Okay, so we got the ECU box open right here and we're gonna be tapping into the ignition with one of these things. This is a little wire tap that basically just clamps onto the ignition and so whenever the ignition is live, the angel eyes will be live. Okay, and then the one, the wire that we're tapping into if you have the ECU box right here, is right here. It's the it's the red one with like the little yellow slash orange stripes, and we're just gonna be wiretapping that one. Is my head blocking the way? Uh, everything's blocking the way. 
And so you just close it on there. And then if you need some help, you can always grab a pair of pliers. What the heck, this is so hard. You know, it's okay, you don't have to film it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Damn. You don't want to show your struggle, eh? Facts. Match and exposed, I <laughs> Beginner <laughs> no. mechanic, bro. Ooh, I almost turned like two of them together. <laughs> okay, I think that's only one. You better be. Alright, and then so this is part of the harness, and then on the driver's side of the harness, there's little blue wires coming off, and the blue wire literally just connects into the wire tab that we just did. If it'll freaking go in. Okay, there you go. And I low key think that's it. So, the our entire engine bay is low key a mess, but we're gonna go turn on the car right now and see if it works. Alright, ready? Yeah. Go. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding, bro. No clue why. Many, many, many. Okay, so unfortunately Daniel had to leave, but we've made zero progress. I have no idea what's going on. The angel eyes still won't turn on, even though my headlights are on. The angel eyes just aren't coming on. Super frustrating, I have no idea why. Alright, you're joining me about like, I don't know, seven hours later. It's absolutely insane. It's like pitch dark outside, but... Oh, I can't even see, but let's go! Oh my gosh, they work now, I'm so excited. I was actually just gonna get the pure white ones and they were about like $200 cheaper, but I don't know, my friends convinced me and I swear to gosh, my friends always upsell me every single time. They're always telling me to like ball out and get like the absolute best one. So we did, because I can't deal with peer pressure. So we went to the RGB ones. Oh my gosh, definitely worth it over the white. The white ones would have been so boring. Jeez, hot boy. Oh my gosh, that took so much work. You don't even know. But I'm so glad they're finally done. The issue ended up being a fuse was blown in the circuit, in the harness that they sent me. And we just never checked the harness and that was it. Plus one of the crimps wasn't absolutely perfect. So it was short, like cutting out. But we just crimped it extra hard and replaced the fuse and that's it. We're finally done. Oh my gosh, that took so much work and it's so frustrating. What I recommend the Umnitsa Orion V5 Angel Eyes. Honestly, I was about to say no, it's not worth it. But damn, do they ever look good when they're finished. Oh my gosh, I can't get over that. Jeez! You can also control it through your phone. So there's like a ton of different um, like designs and like show modes you can go through. And it's super hype, I'm so excited to go through all of them. The only thing that's sort of weird is that you can't control both the passenger and the driver's side angel eyes at once since there's two different harnesses on each side but it's pretty sick nonetheless you just have to do it twice oh my gosh i'm so ecstatic that it's finally done and damn just a fuse and a crimp that messed us all up but finally done oh weird thing i we didn't have any fuses so we had to go steal the fuse from something else and i was wondering what would be something in my car that I probably don't need. And I came across this. Yep, that's right, we took out the fuse for the horn. So, we traded having a horn for having some extra nice lights. Honestly, I'd say that trade would be worth it any day of the week. So, we're gonna go grab a fuse for the horn, and that's gonna be it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited this is finally done. That's it for today. I guess this install's been over two days. Finally have some angel eyes that work, and they're pretty hot boy and spicy at the same time. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this way long video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I feel like I've gone over every single thing trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with this. But that's it for today's video. See ya in the next one.